YouTube, beautiful mind here. This question comes from uh, Kev on stage. Uh, he was kind of talking about this. Uh, this is a, an example of a concept in math called order of operations. Order of operations. There's a certain order in which we approach these questions uh, because if you change the order in which you solve it, it changes the answer and it produces incorrect answers, right? So what we've been using is PEMDAS LR. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally's last request, right? So what this means is that when you're approaching something like this, the first thing you want to look at are your parentheses. So whatever your nested most parentheses are, you want to do that first. After parentheses, we want to take a look at any exponents, right? So, you know, any squares or anything that's up in the exponent, you, you address that next. So now here's a caveat, though. Um, the M stands for multiplication and the D stands for division, but you have to group those together, right? And let me kind of keep going. A stands for addition, S stands for subtraction, and again, you have to group those together. And this L stands for left, and the R stands for right. right. So the reason we group multiplication and division, whenever we, we get to a line and we have to decide between multiplication and division, we do it left to right. right? If we, and then after that, once we get to a line where we have to decide between addition and subtraction, again, we do it left to right. So then with this one, we have what? 2 plus 5 times 8 minus 5, right? So then so order of operation, if we're doing parentheses, first we do the 8 minus 5 first. So the 8 minus 5 is 3, and then everything else just comes down. 5 comes down plus the 2, and the second line is equal to the first, right? So now at this point, the inside the parentheses is simplified as far as we can get it. So next, when you have this 5 immediately to the left of the parentheses like that, that's multiplication, right? So we've addressed the parentheses. So then next we ask ourselves, are there any exponents? Uh, there aren't any exponents. So now we're at this level of looking for multiplication and division. We do have multiplication that we need to address, right? So then 5 times 3 is 15. 5 comes down, 3 comes down, equal comes down. Uh, and, then, and then so now we finish all the uh, multiplication and division. Lastly, we, we take a look at any addition and subtraction. We do have addition. So then 2 plus 15 is 17, and that's where it comes from, right? Hopefully this made sense, and this was able to help. And on that note, we're going to end the session here. And from one beautiful mind to another, enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.